You know, um, I thought this would be the best so we can go back to where it all started. Um, I'm going to be uh, starting off things by explaining to you what's going on there. And obviously, if you want to have um, Mr. Williams here as either your legal aid or your representative, by all means, it's really up to you. Or if you want to wait and have a lawyer present, that works as well. I don't need a lawyer, Bass. What's going on? Okay, but before we proceed, then I must Mirandize you and let you know at this time you have the right to remain silent. And you say, dude, Canada will be easy in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney present and wonder in question. You can't afford one. One will be appointed to you by the state, free of charge, of course, if available. Do you, Mr. Langboot, understand your rights? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Um, there was a court case that happened roughly uh, two days ago. I would say May 1st of uh, 2023. Do you recall being present for that court case? Uh, yes. Okay. Can you walk me through exactly where were you standing? Majority of the time during the court case? I'm standing right there. Okay. Can you go exactly in the same position as possible? No. Why is the that? fuck is this mess? I'm trying to recreate the crime scene. Trying to recreate the crime? What the fuck is this? You, you've been watching, uh, what the fuck's that show called? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck is that show called, Denzel? Uh, CSI. CSI? Is that what you're watching well, last no, night? No, 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 It's all about the details that goes into it, right? If I can understand well, where you were in the moment it happened, I can have a better uh, picture as far as what's going on or what happened. All right. Ash B. Clay. Four. We're not going to be able to recreate any crime scenes, Bass. Quite frankly, there is enough people to have in here to have a realistic crime scene. So why don't you cut the shit and just get down to the actual brass tacks? Yes. Well, see, I was trying to understand the perspective and the context as far as what happened exactly. So, um, Mary Langboot, at this time, there is a serious accusation of you um, using a tranquilizer gun on a lawyer who is part of a court case. Um, before running out of the courtroom, there's an eyewitness testimony stating that you were aiming something toward Gil Schultz. Then shortly afterwards, you dropped on the ground unconscious before you ran out. Uh huh. So, did you have a tranquilizer gun on you during the court case at any given point? Uh, no, sir. Did you... Shoot or discharge a tranquilizer gun toward Gil Schultz at any given point during the court case? No, sir. Would you be okay if I search you right now? Sure, Bass. Okay. No, I'm just doing my due diligence, all of this. At this time, you've been searching yeah. your pockets and I poke me problem and you no about? Key to door. Hmm. Welcome to hell? What does that mean? So you've never shot any tranquilized or gill at all? You never aimed uh, at negative, a weapon? Sir. Never. I would never do such a thing. Okay. And that is the story you're going with. What do you mean the story? I'm going with the truth. Yes, Bass. Okay. Was was Lang searched today in question? Uh, I don't believe so because there's a shooting that happened and Speed ran off and Scott Carter got to get transported. So um, in the moment, has, it was has Lang ever been found in possession of the tranquilizer gun that you're talking about? That is for me to know. Did he have it on him currently? I don't believe so, no. Did he have it on him at the scene of the crime? I did not search him. After the incident happened? your officers search him? I don't believe so. Okay. I'm just asking because there is accusations are being made. There was also um, multiple eyewitness testimony claiming the mayor had um, some sort of suppressed weapon or firearm or a tranquilizer gun that was being aimed well, toward Gil Schultz. And then with, with all due respect, it went from an eyeball witness to several eyeball witnesses. Yeah, now, we could also speak correct. about the several witnesses that didn't see Lang Buddha do that. A hundred. The yeah. mayor's office, uh, former mayor, 
actual civilians. There are several people that didn't see that. Well, so, um, speaking from the mayor's office, when the incident did happen, there's also, um, I want to say someone recalling that Nancy and Eve mentioned something about the mayorship and panicking the fact that it could be all over. Which makes me believe something did transpire. Because why would they be panicking about the mayorship if nothing did happen? You heard them panic? I was not present when it happened. I came afterwards. I was okay, responding so you didn't officer. hear these things? No, I was told by the eyewitness testimony. Okay, so the same eyewitness that is claiming that Lang did something, where well, you don't have definitive proof, they're just making these claims, is the same person that's making claims about the deputy's mayor saying things. That's why I call it accusations. These are claims that are being made. That's why I'm trying to investigate. Make sure that I do my due diligence to go through all the evidence and facts presented today. I'm sure you understand. Uh, can you repeat that? I said, I'm just going through everything I have. I'm going down the checklist of things I have, the evidence and the facts I have in front of me. I'm asking gotcha. you about the incident. I'm not flushing your cups. I'm not accusing you of uh, doing a crime yet. I'm just investigating. I'm at the point of gathering evidence. I have not come to a conclusion if there's enough to press any charges yet. These, these are just pure questions that I'm trying to ask to help me understand what happened exactly and why. I know the how. I just want to know the why. I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing wrong. I came here, uh, you know, I uh, did what I had to do in court to uh, make sure justice was served, and then I left. In your personal properties, there's no tranquilizing guns. You're okay with me going through it? You're not going through my properties, Bass. Submit a warrant. Get it. I understand. I just thought I would ask for the sake of transparency. That's all. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask some questions, Bass? Absolutely. All right. Um, have you ever used or owned a tranquilizer gun in the past, uh, Marabuda? I have uh, owned a tranquilizer gun in the past, yes. Uh, just for background information, so we could maybe try to track the uh, uh, the weapon or recent sales of it. Where did you purchase that from? Is it like a business, a supplier, an individual? Like, how did you acquire that gun back then? I made it. You made it. Yes, sir. Hmm. What does it cost you to make a trench walking gun? Uh, free. So somebody else makes it for you? I make it by hand. Right, but don't you need to get the materials for it to make it? Or how else going to be made? Uh, I'm a very capable engineer, Bass. I did create uh, the wingsuits. I did create uh, Bucky's arm. I did create a uh, an exo so service suit industries for uh, Mary. You know, I'm an engineer. No, I get the fact that you make it, though. But to make it, you need materials, right? I would imagine. How else can you make something? This world is full of uh, materials, right? And we took it together yeah. to make something unique, so... If you're making your lab, I understand. I'm just wondering what's the cost and would require you the raw cost. It costs me free. It costs me nothing. Mm. I don't sign on this, Bass. I know that. But just because you make it for free doesn't mean it costs nothing, right? There's nothing free in this I world. I mean, that's literally what that means. Yeah. I don't sell I it mean, to I nobody. I mean, I think you of all people, Bass, would understand the concept of turning nothing into something because that's what you're doing right now with Larry. <laughs> Thanks, no you truly believe that i'm just i'm just hurt that's all i'm just hurt that's all i thought our friendship is just strong on the mount that's all do you know of any individuals or businesses that sell uh tranquilizer guns or components <laughs> uh you know mayor buddha or former mayor williams well, I know the Simones that uh, you guys have worked with uh, for a very long time, uh, manufactured a lot of uh, tranquilizer guns and uh, distributed them to the city and uh, actually used it multiple times on a woman named uh, Cleo Shaw to torment and torture her. Yeah. You're not wrong. That is documented and we know about that. Like I said, I'm just going based on what the eyewitness testimony has told me so far. If, um, if it was just Gil being the victim and that's it, I think I would have nothing to um, even discuss here today. But since I got people that witness what happened, that's why I'm questioning about the incident because I want to make sure that we dot our eyes and cross our T's. <clears throat> okay. Understood. Um, during the court case, did you run out at any given point? Did I run out of what? The, the courtroom. Leave the courtroom. 
did, I did, I think about, believe about two times to, to make a phone call, to answer a phone call, yes. So you, did you leave the whole entire city hall or you just left the court room? Never left city hall, base. I only okay. left uh, the court room itself, yeah. And you said a few times, would that be twice, three times, four times? Can you be more specific as far as how many times? Uh, probably twice, maybe three times. And do you remember who you're on the phone with? Um, I don't remember. Okay, because um, I would like to speak with those people if possible to make sure that, um, you know. Yes, the court case was six hours long. I'm not going to remember every detail. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just not. Okay. Well, I'm trying to help you clear you of any suspicion. I just need something to work with. That's all. Oh, you ain't got nothing. So what the f*** are you going to get me on? You, you got nothing. What about the Max? several witnesses I mean, that can testify that Lang didn't do this? It's going to conveniently, conveniently ignore those bass. Give me a second, guys. Sorry. One second. It's fine. Take your time. Uh, Mr. Williams, I'm going to be talking with everybody. I just thought I'd talk with the mayor right away out of respect. I could easily go talk to everybody else before the mayor and make him last if I wanted to, but I wanted to talk to the mayor first, get his side of the sure, story as far as what I'm happened, saying, then ask the, also the witnesses were there. And keep in mind, there's a lot of people but there. But you're saying you wanted to speak to the people he was on the phone with. So I'm saying if, right. if he can't remember who he was on the phone with, what about the several people in this courtroom that didn't see Lang Buddha do that? Okay, well, since you're here and you were there on the night of um, this court case, what were you I doing? I wasn't there for the entire court case. See, uh, that that shit was painful. Oh, do you know of anyone like a close quarter bodyguard or anything like that that would have been around him like twenty four seven, start to beginning of the court case that we could? I mean, talk I to? I was there for a decent portion of it. Yeah, I didn't so, see him um... do anything. There's gunshots I heard outside. I was just praying that one of those bullets hit me, so I didn't have to sit through that court case anymore. So, yeah, me too. Mr. Williams, did you walk into the bathroom during the court case? Uh, did I walk into the bathroom? Yeah. Did you uh, happen to visit the bathroom during the court case at all? I mean, I'm visit not Visit the bathroom? What the fuck currently? do you mean? Like, what kind of question what, is what this? The fuck? What the fuck are you doing? Is he Mirandized here? Or? <laughs> also, you know, you want me to speak on the bathroom, Bass? Without Mirandizing me? You want me to go? You want, you want to do this? <laughs> you want to fucking do this, this? How you want to play this, man? Here, here's what I'll say. I'll speak on this. I'm not, as so far as anything, a voluntary statement. Shut your in, mouth. Okay? It is a voluntary I'll statement. I'm not. Speak. You're, you're right. voluntary. Shut the. I am right going to voluntary give a statement right now. Thank you. <laughs> okay, but am I Mirandized or not? You Mirandized Lang, not me. I can Mirandize you if you want. If you want to speak on that, we can we can we can, we can, we can pause this one. And speak. Nah, you no need to Mirandize me. I'll just tell you straight up. Prove it, bitch. <laughs> and I will. Prove it. That's what I'm doing over here. Working case by case. Because just because we're working together on one thing. I don't give a fuck thing. what you know. Good luck proving it. And because I'm not Miranda, I don't give a fuck. Y'all know a lot about me and the things I do, but y'all still can't get cases on me. So go ahead. Try me, bitch. I will. Don't you worry. I'll get to you. Okay. Just wait your turn. Yeah. <laughs> Justice for Bassam. Am I right, Bass? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Anyway, so uh, you were, you said you were making a few phone calls. Anything you remember um, exactly on that day? Anything that um, you know that stuck with you? Anything that kind of just um, you remember um, specifically as far as what happened? I don't remember anything anymore. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess that um, concludes my side of questioning. Unless, Lance, you got any more questions for him? More. I guess that's the last one I would have is uh, at any point, do you recall just pointing anything, any kind of object at a gill that others might be mistaken for a gun? I uh, did. Uh, it's my uh, long cock uh, in his direction. Yeah. You don't have a suppressor in your penis, do you? Excuse me. What did you just say? What did you just say? So you don't have a suppressor on your penis, do you? What? I'm not sure what that means. Okay. It's just a question. It is really important regarding this incident. That's all. Right, right. Okay. 
Well, gentlemen, I hope you understand that. Well, hold up, I. Yeah. Do you have any questions for me? Lang, I'd like a sign bar. Yes, Bass. You... I mean, I, you know, it's it's a valid follow up. I just, I mean, the good thing is, okay. Wait. Bass, respectfully, you ain't got nothing. Respectfully, I feel like I know the truth, but you won't share it with well, me. No one versus proven. Can't sure. prove it, Bass. We can play that just game. Just let this one go, buddy. Well, I mean, I don't want to let things go. I just want you to be honest with me. That's all. I think I'll give you that respect. I ask the same in return. Respect you. I do. I really do. You're a good guy. You're a good cop. But uh, you ain't got nothing. You got to let this one go, buddy. Mm. We'll see about that. Um, <clears throat> I think I conclude the, the portion of your investigation. I'll be speaking with other witnesses, including everybody who is present. I can talk to They can remember the details. From there, if anything does happen... Just to let you know, you are the mayor. So any charges that are being pressed against you has to go on the docket. So if I do have anything, or I do believe I have enough for a probable cause to charge you with something, I'll go on the docket and the DOJ will have to take that hearing, regardless of a misdemeanor or a felony. You ain't got nothing, bitch. We'll see about that. Never know. Good luck. It's not over until I say it's over. It's over. We'll see about that. Take care, gentlemen. Take care, gentlemen. My line, Bass. You fucking prick. <laughs> Our uh, tranquilizer is really as common as he was implying. I don't believe so, no. Um, I mean, the only people I'm, I've seen use tranquilizer is the Simones and the mayor. And those are two powerful factions. Not a lot of people have the same access to FLA, they, they do. Biggest thing though, Denzel think it might be fucked because I'm pretty sure Luca has enough on Denzel to press the charge attempt to murder. He apparently took a doctor inside the, um, the bathroom and basically executed him. Three, Luca? 